Welcome back, Frontier Fields. This is Granville Travis. We'll probably go see the biopath field today where we're planning on putting our biopath trials. We've got some in corn, some in beans this year. Brooks Reed, we're down here at uh, North Central Missouri, uh, just north of the Missouri River, east of Kansas City, about 90 miles. Every growing season is exciting. Uh, the opportunity to uh, plant a seed, watch it grow, and uh, pop up out of the ground and see what kind of yield we can achieve. Last time y'all were out here, it was about zero degrees and snow all over the place. Finally starting to green up. A few planters are rolling in the county, but not very many yet. We're feeling pretty good about this spring. We've got a lot of the white corn already moved. They've called it in a little earlier than normal. We do have about 20,000 bushel left on buyer's call to, to haul here in April and May when they decide to move it in. When we get out there in the field, we'll talk about the different ways we're gonna do the trials, the different application types, the different timings. Uh, some of the different products that we're going to use in conjunction with the biopath um, from Mosaic um, on the corn and the beans and some of the different ways we're going to trial this across different soil types. Season has been uh, pretty good for getting in the field, getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, we've been actually, as a lot of people are concerned, being extra dry, but in Missouri, extra moisture at planting is always a bad thing. It gives us a challenge getting in the field, being too wet, these heavy clay soils. So we're rolling on pretty good. We got several uh, product trials out this year, one of them being the uh, Mosaic Biopath product, along with a host of grower trials that we're doing with uh, the Total Acre system. This year, our uh, Biopath trial will be a little bit different. Last year, we only did the in application with Biopath, and, and this year, it's gonna be a, uh, a side dress application. So we're driving back to the Biopath fields now to kind of show you what our plans are. We've got several different trials this year that we're doing with Biopath. Right here where I'm standing, a, uh, a big power line splits these fields in half, uh, running north and south. To the west of the power lines is where I did my side dress biopath trial last year. Now we got a lot of wild mustard out here that's got to be sprayed out. We're planning on doing the uh, the biopath trial two by two on the soybeans in the same place we did the corn last year. We're going to try to add a little bit of liquid biopath in here to see if we get any kind of ROI or yield yield increase on the soybeans. And then if we turn a little bit, kind of back here behind me now, uh, to the east of the power lines. It was in soybeans last year, no trials or nothing done on this field. That's where we're gonna try our uh, corn biopath this year. It will be a, uh, a two by two biopath um, through the 360 bandits. So we're uh, used to biopath this year on one of our farms that's uh, up north of town. We got some strip till there and you stay seed bedded into the fall strips. Uh, use the biopath, uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Just add it to your tank and uh, you can go. Biopath's goal is to help us do a better job of what we've already got. Hey guys, this is Steven and uh, I work for Brooks Reed. I am his assistant, so I kind of help him out with all things related to his operations. We're out here at the uh, Mac Farm where we're doing a uh, biologicals trial this year. I would hope to see uh, an increase in yield and increase in the, uh, the like the, just the soil biology and things like that. Because anything that's going to improve on what we do is something that I really enjoy seeing. Because nobody likes to do something that doesn't work. But you've got to test to see if it does work. Because not everything works the same way everywhere you put it. Not, it doesn't always work under the different circumstances. So you know, other than you know what we can't control, I like to keep an eye on like, you know, did we do all we could, weather dependent, you know, because we can't control the rain but we can control what we did in the field. We can control what we put in the ground. And so it's, as long as we're doing our best and we get the best result, I like to see how that brings us. One thing I look forward to see if it's working is uh, I'll start pulling tissue samples around V3, V4. If I can see um, in the trial areas compared to the control that I have better, better nutrients in the plant. Once we get on up to the V5, V6 area, um, I would hope that the plant would look a little better. And then once I can start pulling ears, you know, if it's if it's a couple more rows around or five or six kernels longer, uh, I think that's the visual proof that what you did was was the right thing to do that year. Uh, keep coming back and uh, checking checking out all the farmers on Frontier Fields throughout the summer. Um, I'll be giving you updates. Uh, all the other guys will probably be giving updates, and uh, you'll be able to see 
what all they're doing, what all I'm doing, and uh, seeing if it's making a difference and maybe give you a chance to try it on your farm. Uh, you can check in with the other farmers, other growers at FrontierFields.com, and we will be making another episode during the growing season, so we will see you then. I guess I'm going to go jump in the sprayer and try to spray a little bit. We'll see you next time.